I'm Katie. Welcome back to the Breastfeeding Den. Today, we're going to talk about a question people ask all the time, and that's, when is the right time to introduce bottles to your breastfed baby? And that's a great question, and the answer is truly going to vary based upon your family situation. If the plan is that you would like to breastfeed your baby, but you know you're going to need to go back to work, and you will need to have bottles as part of the equation, or even if the plan is that you do want to breastfeed your baby and you're not going back to work, but you would like to have occasional bottles. If those are our circumstances, right? Breastfeeding's going well, we're just looking for bottles to be a supplement to breastfeeding in a positive manner. Then we ideally want to introduce a bottle between four and six weeks of age to your baby. If your baby is not gaining weight and needs supplemental feeds to grow and to gain weight appropriately, then introducing bottles sooner would be helpful. Ideally, we like to wait till breastfeeding is well established and going well to introduce a bottle, but sometimes we need to do that sooner. So for the sake of this video, we're going to assume that you have a healthy breastfeeding baby who's gaining weight you're not having discomfort with the latch and everything is going well. If that's the case, then somewhere between four and six weeks, you're gonna start offering a bottle. Now, what that's going to look like will be dependent upon your family circumstances. You don't want to introduce a full feed to a baby when they are really hungry. Babies have a hard time learning new skills when they're starving and cranky. I think we all can agree on that. <laughs> so you'll want to give a small amount in a bottle after offering one breast before the second breast or an hour after feeding when they wake up and aren't really hungry yet and you just want to give them something else to try before we do a real feed at the breast. Just think about little ways you can introduce a bottle that's not going to stop the flow of your breastfeeding so that they can get to try it without it being a full feeding. You shouldn't have their first bottle experience be one where you, the feeding parent, are not at home and your partner or support person is at home with a baby who's really, really hungry and trying to give them their first bottle. It may be just fine, but it may not go as well as you had hoped. And that's gonna be really frustrating for everybody. Years ago, we used to say that the breastfeeding parent should never give the first bottle. And really, we have learned that they probably should give the first bottle. The breastfeeding parent knows what the baby's latch of the breast should look like, and they're gonna look for that same mouth position on the bottle. You wanna make sure that when you offer the bottle, you're placing it across their mouth like you would, at the, where you would the nipple at the breast. So they're opening and latching onto the bottle nipple versus just slurping up the nipple. You want a nice big mouth and a latch onto the bottle just like you would at the breast. So it's really ideal if the breastfeeding parent gets to give the first couple of bottles to really work on making sure the latch on the bottle looks like the latch on the breast. I always say there's no wrong way to breastfeed, but there is a wrong way to give a bottle. So make sure that the mouth is nice and wide and open and the baby is in control of the flow of the bottle. We'll talk more about different nipple shapes and what is ideal and what isn't ideal and different methods of feeding in future videos. But I wanted to give you an overview of timing and expectations. So in that first few weeks, their suck reflex is very active and anything that you put in their mouth, they're going to suck on. That's how babies eat and grow, because that reflex tells them that anything that gets into their mouth, they need to suck on. We kind of want to take advantage of that when we're offering bottles. So somewhere between four and six weeks is a great time when that suck reflex is still quite active, but ideally you've had time to practice breastfeeding, to kind of get into a rhythm and feel comfortable and confident in that. And once that has happened, then introducing the pump, which we've kind of talked about in other videos, as well as the bottle, is a great idea. Now you can offer bottles from there 
on a somewhat regular basis. If you offer a bottle at five weeks and then not again until 10 weeks, your baby might not take the bottle well at 10 weeks. So you wanna keep a bottle or two, if not three or four a week, kind of in your rotation if taking a bottle is an important thing for you. It's also an option instead of doing full bottles a couple times a week to just do like an ounce a day as a snack. There are many different ways to offer bottles to babies. The ideal scenario would be to wait till that four to six weeks to make sure that your baby is in charge of the flow of the bottle and to make sure that you're giving bottles on a regular basis, whether that's every other day or three times a week or whether that is a small snack every day just to keep them used to it. It's totally up to what works for your family. But just think about keeping the bottle as a regular part of your routine if your baby taking a bottle is an important part of your breastfeeding goals. Hope that was helpful. If you have other questions, please let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. You can also connect with us on Instagram and Facebook at The BF Den. Hey.